Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will discuss about the week for assignment for our database management system. For the first question, the answer is option A. For the second question, we have been given the following functional dependencies and according to which of the rules the dependency hold. So it is pseudo transitivity. According to the Armstrong axiom rule of pseudo transitivity. If there is a dependency in which y is dependent on x and z is dependent of w and y, then z will be dependent on w and x. So, in this, the customer is dependent on the order and the delivery is dependent on the packaging and the customer. So, order it is similar to the X field and customer is similar to the Y similarly packaging is W and the customer is Y and the delivery is Z so according to the rule of pseudo transitivity it will be WX is capable of finding Z so for this answer is option C for the third question which of the following functional dependencies hold on the shopping list? Option A cannot be the answer because the product is not capable of finding the quantity and cost because for the same product, soap and rice, the quantity and cost are different. Similarly, for the D option, the product and quantity cannot find the cost because for the same product and the quantity the price is different like for the product soap and quantity to the price is cost is difference one is 50 and another is 200 so for this answer is option b and c for the fourth question we have to find the normal form of the schema electricity bill which is in BCNF because in both the functional dependencies FD1 and FD2 the LHS side is the super key of the functional dependencies for this the answer is option D for the next question we have to find the canonical cover for the relation library which for this the answer is option C for the sixth question we have been given a relation goodie bag and we have to find those attribute which can neither be derived directly nor indirectly from item one only so for this the baggage is capable of finding the item 1 and item 2 and item 1, 2 and 3 together will be finding the cost and item 1 is finding the bag name and the color so we have to find the those attribute which cannot be derived from item 1 so item 1 it is capable of deriving bag name as well as color and since it is deriving capable of finding the bag name it is bag name is capable of finding the item 2 so we have to find the attribute which item 1 cannot be derived from item 1 so for this the answer is option A and D for the seventh question for the relation game company we have been given the three fun functional dependencies in which we have to find the value of the x and y and it is given that session is the only candidate key of the game company so the following the player is dependent on the game number and the game type is dependent on the player since session is the primary key so it should be capable of finding all the 
attributes in the relation so x is the session and y will be the game number then the game number will be dependent on the session and the player will be dependent on the game number and the game type will depend on the player so for this answer is option d for the eighth question we have to find the statement which is true which is option d for the ninth question we have been given the relation notice and we have to find which of the statement is true so for this the decomposition is lossless because on intersecting the relation sub notice 1 and sub notice 2 there is a common field which is organization and on the union of both the sub notice 1 and sub notice 2 is title subject organization and recipient and the organization is the super key of that second relation and it is also not dependency preserving so for this answer is option a for the last question for the given relation we have to find the number of attribute in the candidate key of account holder so the candidate key in this relation is saving account ppf account and fd account so the total number of attribute in the candidate case 3 which is option c if you found the video helpful do like the video and share the video with a friend and if you have got any different answer do mention in the comment section of the video and if there is any changes in the answer i will pin it in the comment section so before the final submission of your assignment do check the comment section of the video Thank you for watching the video.